Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got a special new drink invention today. It's gonna be called a Korean Zombie in honor of the UFC featherweight contender, Chang Sun Jung, one of my favorite UFC fighters. The Korean Zombie. Check him out if you're not an MMA fan. The guy is awesome. So watch out, Jose Aldo. Alright, so here we have some Korean beer, Height D Dry Finish. Actually, did a size beer, you know, the famous Gangnam Style guy. Alright, the next ingredient will be imported sake, rice wine, straight from Kyoto, Japan. And then we're gonna add some sweet Go Peak iced tea. So, this is a pretty light beer. And dry finish, in case you're wondering what this is, it says it's brewed with our exclusive dry finish process using this, the select dry yeast. All right, and then the sweet tea will add a little bit of sweetness to it. So this drink should be pretty good. So with the sake, just add about two ounces of that. Add about four ounces of beer and then about four ounces of the sweet tea. And then top it off a little bit of crushed ice. So in case you want to have them, I didn't stir up. Whoops. I haven't received my cocktail shaker yet, so in the near future, I'll be mixing up in that. Well, let me try this. Just to make sure I mix it up properly, I'll use a chopstick. Keep it official, you know, Asian style, until I get my cocktail mixer. Wow, there's some serious stuff. You know what this reminds me of? Kind of like a long, weaker version of Long Island iced tea, but a little bit of lychee fruit flavor. In case you don't know what lychee is, it's like a Asian fruit. It's kind of sweet. Just Google it. But wow, I mean, the light beer with the sweetness from the sweet tea and the strong alcohol from the sake blends in real well. So it's kind of like a fruity drink, but it's very refreshing and not overwhelmingly strong or bitter. Wow, this drink is probably one of my better, best mixes. I would definitely give this like a 90%. No joke. Try it. Korean Zombie.